If you're, inter if you're interested, first off, you need to put in an application. Um, each year we, we have uh, students that are, or prospective students that are interested, and put in an application. Um, by the date of the application, we can hold your seat. Um, we take 18 students um, one year, and then the following year after that, we do a double, uh, double batch of students where we actually take up to 32. So depending on what year you're interested in, um, is really critical in getting your uh, information in early, showing that you have uh, an interest. We do an awful lot of hands-on. It's, it's nice to see some energetic young minds and hands come in here and uh, help them to unravel some of the the magic that they that they think in electricity or or hydraulics or engines. Typically, we're able to get um, our students' jobs right out. They graduate on Saturday and they go to work on Monday. Um, we have a pretty good placement record. Um, we do uh, two different uh, sessions of uh, on-job training. Um, during that time, the, the students are out working in with a cooperative dealer and uh, getting in 40 hours a week, earning college credit and money, as well as valuable experience. So typically those end up being their first time full-time job also. They go right back to that, to that dealer that they work with. Um, one of my favorite skills is the hydraulic skills. Um, I enjoy the hydraulics class a lot. I also enjoy the electrical um, a lot. Uh, they, they go hand in hand. One of the things that I believe that we do more of here at Spoon River College than any other one is the hands-on portion. Um, we do a 16-week uh, tractor overhaul class that is um, five hours a day, four days a week for 16 weeks. There's not another class like that in any of those other institutions for that length of time. We also do eight weeks of uh, advanced hydraulics and advanced transmission, which is eight weeks, five hours a day, um, four days a week. That is all lab, working on live work. Um, and then we have the, the two um, on-job trainings, which is 16 weeks of the student being on the job for 40 hours a week um, for, for the 16 weeks um, where they're, they're working. So I think what makes ours different is we do an awful lot of hands-on with our students. So this part of the tractor overhaul class, the class is 16 weeks long. Uh, in the industry, this process may take about one to two weeks to do. Um, the students, because it's a learning environment, it may take them up to 16 weeks to complete this process. They are doing everything from diagnosing the problems to um, looking up their own parts, doing a complete rebuild on this engine. So because we only work half a day, this process could take them up to about eight or 12 weeks. I'm a graduate of the program. I went through the program um, as a student uh, right out of high school. So I went through the program here, got me a job working as a technician after I went on to get my four-year degree. And when it came time for my former trucker to retire, I wound up, uh, he contacted a few of us about the opportunity to come back. There's all kinds of jobs out there, so there's all kinds of need for it. And there's only going to be more need for these uh, individuals, so they're getting a well-rounded education on several things, whatever here. It's not just on one specific type of machinery or brand or anything along those lines either. So they get a lot of knowledge to go work anywhere with that. So as you can see in the shop, if you're in the shop or came for a visit, you're going to see we got tractors in here and we've got trucks in here we're working on, and we got construction equipment over on the other side we're working on as well. So we work on a little bit of everything and lots of hands-on uh, opportunities here to gain knowledge and, and learn stuff. And they're having all kinds of fun with it, as you can see. <laughs>
Um, the rail program that we have here at Spoon River College, um, currently we only offer it during the spring semester, so that starts in January. Um, it's a 16 week um, course area. Uh, we do uh, eight weeks of FRA class, eight weeks of um, air brake class, and then we do four week segments of engine classes. So there's four weeks of EMD and then four weeks of the GE course. And since we put this in our spring semester, um, our people or our students that are in our um, diesel power system technology program that are going for their associate's degree, they can work this in in their very last semester here. So that way they can graduate with a um, associate's degree and also a certificate in rail. In the rail industry, there's lots of there's lots of opportunity. Um, in our geographical area, we have uh, in Galesburg, we have uh, BNSF, who is a, a very large railroad and employer in our in the Knox County area for sure. Um, so there's several different opportunities there. These uh, coursework work for you know people that might want to be conductors, people that might want to be laborers, people that might want to be pipe fitters, people that would like to be machinists. Um, also, uh, Carmen, these will all be um, helpful in getting, getting you into a situation where you have more knowledge and more vocabulary about what goes on with the rail. Besides Burlington Northern or BNSF, there is also Burlington Junction Railway that um, we have currently used them uh, for places for employment for our graduates and, and our interns um, out of Burlington. Um, they're a small line railroad and uh, we've had great success with them. The rail classes, we, we don't want to have over 12 in, in, in a class. Um, we do a lot of overhead um, work with uh, the engine portion of that, so we don't want to have an overwhelming amount of people in that lab area during that time. So for safety reasons, we're kind of cutting it to 12. This is our um, locomotive air brake class is a 26L system. Um, we have all the valves here on this particular unit that you would have on a locomotive. Um, and over here is an operating station for, for um, operating the automatic and the independent brake application process. So we can simulate um, different settings here. On, on this station just as you could in a locomotive. And uh, we can also set up different scenarios where we can have uh, valve failure and use this for a troubleshooting station as well. So uh, this is a, a unique thing that, we're, that we do have the opportunity to, to have here and to use. All right, um, this is a 7FDL General Electric engine. Um, we were given this engine from General Electric um, all the way back to like 2007 maybe. Um, we use this to um, remove the power assemblies, um, so we have to have this over here in this overhead crane area. Uh, this is a cutaway version of a 7FDL. Um, this thing started out being a 16 cylinder engine. They cut the front two cylinders off, cut the back two cylinders off, and then they mated them together to make it for um, this kind of uh, scenario that we're doing here. Uh, very fortunate to have this. This is an EMD engine. Uh, this engine was given to us um, from BNSF. Uh, this is a, a cutout version um, right here, so you can see the cylinder assembly. This is a, a two-stroke, 16-cylinder engine, 4,000 horsepower. Um, we use this um, for removing the power assemblies, um, running the overheads, um, doing crankcase inspections. So that's a really, really nice piece of equipment to have when you have a complete whole engine um, to work with.